just go do? We got quail. We got exactly quail. what I wanted for my birthday. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Welcome. Mm -hmm. We just went and picked up 10 Texas A&M quail and 10 Golden Italian. Golden Italian. Which I just found out about today. So. <laughs> Italian golden, golden Italian, golden Italian golden. <laughs> golden. Now I'm scared of them flying out. <laughs> Just open it like a little crack. <laughs> this is the Texas A&M quail. <laughs> ago we found out that we could actually have chicken in our city yeah we didn't think that we were allowed to have chickens and yeah. then we found out that we could so that got started so that got us started our chicken are so loud and but yeah they're very loud chickens. they don't fit in with the oasis theme yeah right? they're not really so. like an oasis bird yeah they're more like farm farm farmland farm. <laughs> but we wanted eggs and so we kind of put off chickens we were just like eh, it's not gonna happen for us right now maybe at the next house and then my brother-in-law was like, why don't you guys get quail? They're quiet. And we were like, light bulb. Light bulb. <laughs> and pretty much ever yeah. since then, we have been obsessed. So thank you, yeah. Victor. <laughs> we read about them and found out they were similar tasting to regular eggs. They're about a third of the size of a, a regular chicken egg. And they take, they need less room because they're smaller birds. Yeah. So. yeah, so you can have more birds in a smaller area, whereas chicken, they need a lot more space. We started building an aviary for them, for our future quail, a few weeks ago. And the day that we brought, the foundation, yeah. brought in the blocks to lay down the foundation for the aviary, a bird, a pigeon, showed up on our roof. Freaking <laughs> us out at was, first. Yeah, <laughs> kind of freaking us out at us. because he would get like, well, yeah, she, really close. she would get really close and the dogs were obsessed. So we thought she would leave. And then she'd try to fly into the house at night. Yeah, <laughs> she kept trying to fly into the window and we were like, okay, this is somebody's pet. Somebody is, you know, missing this bird. This morning, she was still there. I think she slept on a fence. Yeah, she slept <laughs> on our fence. I think we posted on a neighborhood forum asking if anybody lost a pet pigeon because she got way too close and was way Definitely. too friendly. Yeah, she had to be somebody's pet. There's just no way. And she, like I said, she was trying to fly into our house at night. So she was used to having somebody take care of her. Yeah, some shelter. We fed her, we bought bird seed for her. Then I think it was like the third day that she was there, me and the dogs were outside and we were all just staring at her, watching her up on the roof. And she got too comfortable and she flew down to the ground and all four dogs went after her. But I, I honestly just thought it's over. Like a bird can't survive, even if dogs don't want to kill the bird, it just on sheer size alone, you know, they're gonna crush the bird. So I, I didn't even think that there was a chance. So sad, cause I had already, I, I liked having her around. She was- she followed you around the yeah, yard. She, would, she was following me around the yard and wouldn't leave me alone. She wouldn't let me touch her or anything. She was still kind of standoffish, but she was turning into our little buddy. The only thing, they just tore out a few of her feathers. She probably felt, they probably fell out too when she was probably flapping around. And yeah, They probably true. didn't even bite her at all. They were just like slobbering. Yeah, but we kept calling her a boy just because yeah. we assumed her gender. And then she laid an egg. So then we were like, oh my God, she's a girl. And then, a girl? Yeah, it made her cuter somehow. Yeah, she was I felt it all the dog snooted her. So yeah. I'm like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> She can do what she wants, but 
it's true. Yeah, we're gonna but... test it out in a few yeah. minutes. Hopefully they can, because that's gonna be awkward if not. <laughs> Haran's like, this is my home. Her name is Haran, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we finished up the aviary and then put her food in there. You put her food in there and you were showing her a dish and she followed you. Yeah, yeah I just she, had... I was watching from the window. You're like she just followed you right in there. Yeah, she followed me right in the aviary and then at first we didn't think she liked it because yeah. she was flapping her wings around. Yeah, hanging and, onto the sides. Yeah, but then we brought plants in and made her a little perch she and a little coop, it. and now <laughs> she absolutely loves it. And yeah. we leave the door open yeah, for her. She can go in and out if she wants to, and she never flies out. She, oh, she likes it in there. She likes it. So that brings us to today on Tommy's birthday, buying quail. We're farmers. We're <laughs> urban gardeners. <laughs> urban and gardeners. And farmers. <laughs> Like little mini chickens. Okay, so here's the aviary. Go finish and touches in the coop. It's a nice straw for your egg laying pleasure. <laughs> it has a top that comes off, so it gets the eggs easy. Just chill. Do you love them? I don't know yet. <laughs> She's processing it right now. Happy birthday, me. Right? <laughs> she just wants to chill. This one's my friend. <laughs> How cute. That's not good. That can't happen. Dang, that's not good at all, Haran. No! Haran's freaking poking at him, babe. Can't have that. No, she she's gonna poke at him. Yeah, I don't I don't think that they can live together. Hey! Hey! No! Maybe we should have them in here first and then put her, her in there after. Maybe she's just gotta let him know it's her her house. That's cute. I think they would love it. <gasps> oh, come on! I don't know if dude, Haran's gonna go then. Yeah, you stay up there, bud. Stay high, you don't have to go on the ground and attack them, they'll stay on the ground. <laughs>
You gonna be a good girl? Hey, back. Good girl. Knew that was coming, right? <laughs> we take out Lua, the, the hardest one out yeah. of all of them. Let me stretch a little first. <laughs> I gotta prepare for this. Lua, sit. Oh, oh, chill. Sit, Lua. You're a good girl. Oh, I just want to sniff this thing. Go <laughs> on. Hey, leave it. Hey, leave it. Come on. Come on, Lord. Leave it. Good girl. Sit. Stay. Stay. Hey, stay. Punish. Move. Not like a full on punish. If she lunges, yeah. then we'll pull on punish. No, back. Hey, push. Move, bad girl. Stay. Hey, hey, stay. Stay. Stay, girl. Good girl. Hey. No. No. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good. Stay. Hands up. Sit. Stay. Good boy. You don't care about the victory? Hey, stay. He's a boring. So Chanel is a good girl, sure, sit. and she doesn't really try to go after birds too much, but let's see. Good girl. Let's walk by the birds. 